Welcome to Corey's Conscious Living. Hello, my friends. Do you love Heidi, Cherry, and Vaya? And you would love if you got exclusive stories that weren't available anywhere else. If you join my patron cat club, you will get three stories every month for seven dollars on the seventh of every month. If you want to join the club and it's okay with your guardians or your parents, then follow the link below and become a patron and join the cat club. Namaste, my little friends. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Get all snuggly and warm and comfortable in your bed so you can relax your body and get yourself ready to fall into a sweet, comfortable sleep. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were at the supermarket. They hadn't been for quite some time and it was time to stock up on all sorts of things. They needed all the tinned food, all the dried food, all the fresh food. They needed so much food, the list was really long. Cherry was not very happy about the fact that they were at the supermarket because, to be honest, Cherry thought supermarkets were quite boring. I'm not really fussed about this at all. In, I'd much rather be doing something like extraordinary, like climbing the side of a mountain, or possibly ice skating, or possibly rollerblading, or like maybe like fishing off the end of a pier, or something like that. You know, anything but like shopping. Supermarket shopping is like the most boring thing. And most of the time they put really boring music on. Don't you think, Vaya? Vaya said. Hmm, me likes the supermarket sometimes. Especially if I can get dressed up to go to the supermarket. I like to wear dress up clothes for the supermarket. Because I think it makes it feel so much more better. But sometimes... It is a bit boring, Heidi said. You know, most of the time, that's life, Cherry. Things you have to do aren't the same as things you want to do. So the things that you have to do, like you have to have a shower sometimes, or you have to brush your teeth, or you have to go to work, those are things that sometimes aren't normally the best. The things you want to do, like fish off the end of a pier, well, yeah, because you already want to do it. It's more fun, isn't it? Cherry said, yeah, exactly. So my point is, how do we make the supermarket more fun? I think, I think this, I think this. I think, I think I've been thinking about it before I even came, but I didn't mention it. But I think, I think this, right? Listen, listen. I think we should divide, yeah, let, let's divide the list into three. So we all, we all have our like own sections, but we try and divide it as fairly as possible. So what I mean by that is, I'm not stuck with like 4,000 things to get. That's what I mean by that. So yeah, we divide the list and we divide it very, very fairly. And then, because fairy's best, right? Fairy's best. Sharing is caring. Fairy is best. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So then, then what we do is we all start at the beginning line. And like a race. Let's call it like a super su- supermarket sweep. Like that program. Supermarket sweep. Let's do that. And then, and then, and then whoever gets everything on their list, the firstest, is the bestest and they get a prize Heidi said let me just ask you a question Cherry Cherry said yeah Heidi 
Heidi said. Did you have this, like, fully planned before you came? Um, uh, no, no, said Cherry. Heidi said, oh, oh, so it's just a coincidence that you're wearing your fastest, comfortablest sneakers. Mm, said Cherry. Uh, you got me. <laughs> You got me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did have this a little bit in plan, in in, in mind. And, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Heidi said, that's okay, because I can run pretty fast in my bare feet. Faya said, hmm, I don't do so good in these princess shoes. They're one of those type that clop, 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 which makes a wonderful sound. But then they like, you're like, yeah, no. It's like running on bananas. You slip all over the place. Cherry said, Well, take them off, silly pants. Take them off. Thea said, mm, But then my white paws are going to get all dirty. Cherry said, Freedom of choice, Thea. It's up to you, my dear. You either leave them on and do banana split ra racing or you take them off and you wash your paws when you get home. Up to you. Anyway, how do you feel about the whole thing? Do you think it's a good idea? Because I think it's a really good idea. I think it's an awesome idea. Heidi said, I think it's a good idea. But what would the prize be? Oh, said Cherry. Vea said, Mmm, a favourite dessert. Cherry said, yeah, now that's it, that, that's something I can race for, yeah, I think, I think, for me, I'm gonna go, oh gosh, some kind of lemon meringue thing or something like that, Bea said, mmm, me wants chocolate cake, Heidi said, ooh, ooh, I think, I think we should stop and get our favourite milkshakes if I win. Cherry said, All right, you know what? This is a game worth playing because I kind of like all of those things. So even if I don't win, I'm going to get a dessert. So this is awesome. Right, okay. So I say we all start here. Heidi, Cherry and Vea all lined up at the entrance of the supermarket. They divided the supermarket list in three sections as fairly as possible. They got the list in front of them. Now, all they had to do is someone had to say, ready, steady, go. And then they would meet at the cash out. And then they would pay at the cash out. And then once through the cash out, that meant they were completely finished. So as part of the supermarket suite race, they also had to find the shortest line because that was important. Because if they got stuck in a long line, then it would take off all the time that they'd got running around the supermarket. They all agreed that this was going to be the rules of the game and whoever paid for all of their stuff first and was completely finished won. Cherry said, On your marks. <gasps> Drum roll. <laughs> Get set. Go, girls, go! They were off. Cherry's sneakers were doing an amazing job. She was running, grabbing a hold of things. But the problem with Cherry was she was so excited. She was laughing so much that she was also peeing her pants. I can't help myself. This is so funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, OMG, OMG. OMG, I need to go to the toilet. I really didn't think this through. I should have thought about this before I started. Now I'm so happy. And it's so funny. <laughs> I'm going to pee. Oh, no, I'm going to pee my I'm going to pee my pants again. <laughs> and at the same time, she was grabbing things frantically off the shopping counters, like... Okay, bubble bath. Okay, okay, toothpaste. Okay, okay, shower gel. Okay, okay. All the different things that she was trying to find at the same time. Choking, laughing, crying because it was so funny. And she was so excited. And peeing her pants. Vea decided to go barefoot. She was very calm. 
and very fast and very focused. Heidi was doing really well until she kept bumping into people she knew. And then she had to stop and say hello and then say, I have to go, excuse me, we're doing this thing, I'll explain later. But every time she stopped and did that and said hello and gave someone a hug or gave someone a high five or just stopped and said, how are you doing? It was taking off so much of her time. Vea was the one that got to the checkout first. But unfortunately, when she got to the checkout, all the lines were really long. Cherry wasn't too far behind, probably about a minute, a minute or two. And then Heidi was the worst, friendly Heidi. She was like four minutes behind Vea. But Heidi, by this time, had luckily come across a very short line. There was only two people in front of her. Vea, by now, had only got two people in front of her. So now, really, it was all down to the lady that was doing the checkout. How fast would she run people's groceries through? How many groceries did the people in front of them have? By the time Cherry got to the checkout, she only had one person in front of her. But Cherry was still laughing, giggling, and peeing her pants. But she was so focused on winning that she really didn't mind too much what people thought. Everybody kept staring at her as if to say, why is that cat laughing hysterically? She didn't care. In fact, it made her laugh even more because she thought the situation was very, very funny. So Cherry was just in line, giggling and laughing, <laughs> doing her thing. The whole thing got very, very intense when they happened to all be putting their groceries on the checkout counter all at the same time. Cherry was no longer laughing. OMG, this is so intense. This is so intense. I could win. I could win. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I could win. Vaya said, mm, I think I'm going to win. Heidi shouted from over where she was. No, no, it's definitely going to be me. The cats were pacing, they were watching the women very, very intently, pushing things through the machine thing. And then Cherry said, Can you hurry up, please? I have um, a very important uh, uh, appointment to go to. And the lady at the cash out said, Oh, yes, of course, dear. And she started to move things through faster. Vaya said, That's cheating. Cherry said, not really. It was just, uh, we do have an appointment this week at some point, don't we? <laughs> Heidi started laughing at Cherry's tenacity to win. Freya happened to be the one that got through first. She stood there, very proud, with very black paws. Oh, my poor paws. Cherry got through, and then Heidi got through. They all joined her at the winning line. Cherry said, Wow, congratulations, Faya. You know, I'm really happy about this because I really do like chocolate cake. <laughs> and I've, I feel like I've won anyway, but I do really need to go to the bathroom. Heidi came through and she said, Well done, Faya. Good job. I think my problem was, I was just too friendly. I kept stopping and talking to everyone who we knew. Vea said, Mmm, I know me, me, me was very tempted to do that. But what I would, was doing was just running past them really fast and just saying, Hi, hello, talk to you later, in a rush. Heidi said, Yeah, that would have probably been a lot better. But anyway, regardless, congratulations. Vea said, Thank you. Okay, so we'll wait for Cherry to come out of the bathroom and we'll go to my favourite place to get my chocolate cake. And then we'll go to the park and we'll share chocolate cake and maybe drink some lemonade. Vea was very happy. Heidi said that was a very good idea. And when Cherry eventually caught up, she thought that was the bestest idea. 
after the chocolate cake and the lemonade and a very good laugh about what supermarket sweep was all about for each of them. They eventually went home. They all had a nice warm shower. They brushed their teeth, got comfortable pajamas on, climbed into bed, snuggled, told each other they loved each other, and then quickly fell fast asleep. The end.